Welcome back, and you're still watching Waze. March 1 is celebrated as World Compliment Day, a day that aims to address the basic human need for recognition and appreciation. Make someone's day by praising them. It was started in the Netherlands by Hans Portevillet in 2001. So ladies, it's World Compliments Day. I mean, I, I love compliments. What, you what you guys beautiful. say? Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. You look good. I think Thank all I think all women you like look compliments. So beautiful in your mustard yellow. Sunflower. <laughs> yellow. Sunflower. Oh, sunflower. Sunflower. Oh, sunflower. Yellow. Oh, not mm -hmm. mustard. Okay. Thank you. Mustard is Thank a darker you, one. It's okay. a darker shade. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. You, you look, look nice. gorgeous. I love your earrings. Thank you. It's I'm beautiful. trying to be like an Erica Badu. I see. Channeling your inner Erica Badu. Exactly. I see. Exactly. I like that. Exactly. Exactly. So I think um, it's also very important for us to always give compliments to people Absolutely. because it, you never know what somebody is going through. Yeah, and it, it could be that, that compliment that makes the difference. That Absolutely. Day. I agree. Exactly. So I agree. It's essential. Be so it's something good. that we should practice. And, and something else when you say thank you. Yes. It yes. also melts a hardened heart. And so I find that the compliments that. actually have a bigger mm -hmm. impact when it's coming from you to someone who actually is not expecting it. So maybe somebody yeah. that reports to you or somebody yeah. junior or exactly. somebody, I don't want to use the word and lower, up, when yeah. you get, you know, the general. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So when you yes. just take out time to say that, so, oh, you look gorgeous, oh, you're amazing, thank you, job well oh, you done. Did a good yeah. job. It just brightens their day, brightens Absolutely. their year and, the, you know, In fact, it's, they will go to the, uh, to the, to the um, what's it called, the end of the earth for you oh, yes. at that Absolutely. particular moment. Fantastic stuff. <laughs> okay, ladies, so um, let's just jump right into what found in the news. Isi, we'll go with you first. Okay, um, what we found in the news today is from t um, Telegraph and is on coronavirus as usual. Um, since we're talking about coronavirus. weekend. <laughs> yes. It's a coronavirus weekend. So, um, it's on Nigeria's stock exchange loses 308 billion Naira in one day. Wow. This is stated, this was stated by Telegraph as the first casualty of the coronavirus in Nigeria. Wow. And uh, this happened um, less than 24 hours mm -hmm. right after the first index case came in and was reported. And you know this is the third world. Yes. And Nigeria is a developing country. Developing country as absolutely. much as we have a lot going on, yeah. it is a developing country in Nigeria, um, in, in um, Africa. Absolutely. And um, the impact is is not so good, mm. basically. Because and it's just a short term it's as well. Just, just a short couple term. days and look what impact exactly. is having already. And the sky, the, um, uh, Everything has skyrocketed. Yeah, that's Ranging true. From um, sanitary products I to know, the mask to with the um, sanitizer, mm -hmm. like they just First of went all, it's out of stock. And the prices pricing. have skyrocketed. Exactly. Why do we do that to ourselves? I know. I I, I, I understand it. Us. The regular, you know, law of economics and the demand and supply. supply. Okay, but we'll have to take a quick break ourselves. now, and we'll come back with <laughs> our next guest. Thank you. Okay, welcome back, and we'll just continue from where we left off with our new stories. Isi, we'll just continue where you left off. Yes, as I was saying, it's all about demand and supply on the Nigerian Stock Exchange, losing um, 308 billion Naira in one day. And we talked about the skyrockets of sanitary um, equipments and the hand sanitizers. Yes, and I remember that's what we were talking demand. about. I just, supply. You know, I just wonder, like, so I understand the, you know, normal economics of demand and supply, you mm. know, um, there's more demand now, everyone wants to buy hand sanitizers, and so the pricing can go up slightly. Yeah. But not a 400% hike. Exactly. Like we keep saying the government is bad, the economy, but is that the Us government the retailing? You know, Absolutely. why do we like, you know, we like to just take rent seeking and just take it exactly. People's situations I think and it's just a make bit the most much. of it. it is. And it that's is, why it's going to affect the economy in one way or the other. Absolutely. The, the coronavirus. Of course. Um, um, yeah, problem. Infection. Infection. Okay. Pandemic, which is getting close to a pandemic currently. Absolutely. So it's, it's in pandemic um, territory. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so exactly. I'll just quickly go to what you found in the news. Yes, I mean, more about China. So, I mean, China is one of Nigeria's largest trading partners, and 2019 was a particularly tough year amidst uh, the trade tensions, the, the trade wars with the U.S., with the United States, which yes. eventually snowballed into global 
um, tensions and already in 2020 the country has been defined by coronavirus yeah. and it's been said that you know COVID-19 could affect up to 42 percent wow. of um, China's earnings so it, it's a big deal and economists are now predicting that and last year um, the growth rate because of the trade tension and yes, all of that yes. they saw a 30-year low in the GDP rate, the output, for right? China. And now they're saying that this quarter could be as low as 4.5 percent, vis-a-vis the 6 percent that we That's saw like in the last back quarter. To back so for I, China. I mean, it's mm. it's going to be the slowest pace since the financial crisis, and you're just wondering. That's the second largest economy in the world. Well, How yes. are they going to bounce back? It's not, not just it's going to be a ripple effect. Okay, exactly. guys. Exactly. exactly. Let, let me take my own story, which is on a lighter <laughs> note in Nigeria. So uh, it's from Information Nigeria. Uh, the cross dresser Bob Brisk keep has replied to one of his fans or uh, just people on the web who have suggested that he should be used as the sacrificial goat to oh avert coronavirus. <laughs> oh Lord. Now, Bob Whiskey has also replied and said that he is not traveling back to Nigeria because he's currently away on holiday in Dubai. And you know what, this is, this, what's funny about this to me is even in the midst of all this panic and fear and all of this pandemic, Nigerians we always find a way, find a way to, to make, you to know. To laugh, to find oh some comedy. You know, there was also another I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. So maybe it is because, you know, people are a bit panicked and maybe we should just look on the lighter yeah, side of things. I think there was also a video clip of someone who was also trying to, uh, going back to um, Nigeria's finding yes. comedy in the in midst every of every situation. situation. The, there was this um, young man who made a skit on how you interact with people now. So what you do is you don't greet them, you don't say anything, you just walk up to them and you just look at them. <laughs> exactly, yes! <laughs> and you use your leg and you say hello oh, and you walk yes. away. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Don't touch me. Uh -uh. <laughs> don't Stay touch away. me, don't shake me, don't You'll hug me, don't over do there. nothing. Wow. I'll be fine when it was time here. to talk, he stepped <laughs> he back stepped a back. bit. Oh, it was so hilarious. Wow. <laughs> Anyways, we're happy yes. people. It's good. Absolutely. Okay, that's all we found um, on the news for today. And when we return, our first guest, Rotas Adiri, will join us.